Um, and uh, to, to what you said, and I think one of the earlier uh, agenda items also wanted to see that how can AI be made more, uh, what's the starting point for AI in schools? And uh, I know ICSC has a curriculum around AI and robotics, and so does CBSE from class six onwards. And uh, in my experience of working with close to 500 odd schools in India and UAE um, around AI, STEM, robotics, I think some of the key components uh, where we miss out uh, are three in my view. One is um, we have very limited supply side capacity. Uh, the teachers who are uh, who, who have a deep understanding and knowledge of uh, AI, ML, and, and, and sort of robotics. Second is uh, an engaging curriculum. We have a curriculum from regulatory body and we have plethora of content available online. We have uh, platforms like HEI as well. But I think what really still misses uh, is is missing is that that end to end um, seamless thread which gets uh, woven through. If I talk about AI, you have got data science, computer vision, NLP, and I see a lot of products and even handbook of CBSE and ICSE just talking about some of parts, but uh, not the braided learning which is uh, intended to be. And that's why it doesn't become very exciting for students because they learn regression, clustering, classification, then you just move on to detection models, then you move on to, uh, you know, attention transformer or, uh, uh, you know, um, NLP models, and there is no coherence between them. And I think what is really needed is um, as educators and, and sort of ecosystem players uh, and industry, uh, I mean, I represent industry in, in, in some way as well, to be able to create uh, a product which is which is custom to the needs of India and who uh, and which sort of interplays these braided learning. I mean, I have seen some fantastic products being sold in schools and they give examples of, you know, SEC or DARPA. Like, and I mean, our students would not understand what is a DARPA or what is a SEC. Why not say B, SBI, DRDO? So I think that kind of organic content, which is more relevant, contextualized to our scenario, which is more relatable and I'm just going at India level. But if I go on a more micro level, if I'm teaching in Kochi, I mean, my content has to be very, very relevant. Even the cities I use have to be more uh, the names I take of creating a class or a function or a story. I say I cannot say John went whatever. I have to take a name which is localized to that particular demographic. Right. So I think that is the other part which is missing. And then third uh, missing component for me is uh, the connect with the uh, startup ecosystem because I see a lot of amazing startups who are doing great work in AI. But uh, and we do masterclass format. I mean, once in a while we'll have a forum like this. But if you ask, uh, you know, Jayati and, and other students like it's very episodic, like once in a blue moon, they'll hear something and then uh, they, uh, there they go back with their you know, chalk and talk and, and, and sort of books, which they refer to. But how do we build more uh, integrated interaction with the industry? Uh, we did an initiative with Thai Bangalore um, in, in our organization where we help students work on tech entrepreneurship. So we said, what's the point of learning only AI or tech if you can't really do something about it? And if you want to create a product, solve a real problem, um, be it SDG or something which is more close to your community, so come up with a problem. Uh, we'll work with you. We'll solve that issue and or problem. Create a product out of it, and you then uh, present it to potential angel investors. And that sort of hand holding then becomes very exciting because they are always looking for the next goal. That okay, I've created an MVP. Now I'm scaling my product. Now I'm raising a capital. So that is a more engaged and as a industry or a uh, or a ecosystem provider, you also feel more engaged that I'm not just coming here to give, you know, knowledge or, or share war stories, but I'm working on a real problem with a bunch of students who are really passionate, excited, and there is real money on the table. Like they're solving a real problem and value is being created. It's not theoretical. So we had around 50 odd startups there. Uh, we did an event in Bangalore last month. Uh, with Intel and Thai, and some of the students then got uh, selected for further mentoring uh, by CXOs, and then uh, you know companies are providing them cloud credits, they're giving them uh, seed capital. So, I mean, those are the ways in which we could actually 
you know there is incentive for people um, from industry to also be associated for sustained learning so that's the other part and then i also created uh, i don't know if i'll be able to share my presentation i just created some small tips or maybe i'll just read it out i have just 4 minutes left um so i think one of the important thing in school is to really identify a, a ai champion so i did a, a initiative with uh, you know couple of regulatory bodies in india and uae that how can we create a program of ai ambassadors in school because most of the teachers have been teaching html c c++ now they have been given three workshops by cbse on python and they claim to be a python teacher but it's hard right how do you really uh, upskill them in a meaningful way where they are not just thrown uh, into the ground without uh, you know arsenal so that's that's one idea uh, which i would love for us to take us together that how do we create a program around a ai ambassador and then that the ai ambassador in school takes forward the whole agenda of uh, promoting ai the other uh, uh, you know um, other sort of tips which i had was that how can we make it more interdisciplinary so not teach ai as a standalone subject but integrate ai with existing subjects so if you teaching geography in weather cycle teach about weather prediction what are the weather prediction models how can you use simple uh, clustering or classification models for predicting weather if you teaching history there are fantastic apps like hello history.ai where you can train on the uh, image data set and conversational data set of a famous celebrity like mahatma gandhi or martin luther king and have a student do a conversation with a famous uh, celebrity from history so you just train the whole content using chat base or open ai and then create a custom avatar and then make them have a conversation with mahatma gandhi that what was he thinking about when he launched non cooperative movement i mean those kind of things just to make it more engaging and fun similarly you could do for civics similarly you could do for uh, various components of science so make it more interdisciplinary so ai becomes like a catalyst and not a stand alone um, sort of a subject the third uh, point which i wanted to share was make it a more project based learning so when i say project based learning not complicated capstone projects but simple things which are relatable in daily life that okay uh, like back in the covid we used to have things like mask no mask or you know kids like social media so on instagram how do filters work how do photo collage work using computer vision or teach them basic stuff like how do you take a picture of an object and you know calculate area or volume using uh, computer vision so these kind of uh, basic day to day activities in school or, or help them or, or make them help the school create a attendance management system using face recognition so something which is relevant easy uh, because even in cbsc curriculum and icsc the, the focus is on a big capstone project which just bites the dust on the desk but uh, my view is that how can we make it more relevant which is useful to school also on day to day basis somebody talked about bullying so why not create a nlp based uh, model for for bullying um, you know can can students come together and build that and the teacher can mentor or invite a industry uh, expert to chip in and and mentor students to create a simple model for bullying where you can tag or highlight certain behaviors which are predatory in nature so solve these real problems um, in in the school on a day to day basis and then involve industry on a need basis so i think that's the third sort of tip i i i would like to leave behind and i think i've done with